Sick fucking war. Seven if we include the DLC. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. Easy. It's out here. Can I get down from here? Cause that'd be fucking fantastic. That sucks a cock. Detective Earl, this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worried. Like it or not, we're a dysfunctional couple now. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I really hope you're joking, Roy. Thank God, doors. <laughs> Chanel, care what car we get. Can I actually read all about it? No? Extra, read all about it. Fucking lied. Run! Run, Roy! You know the way. You can drive. Bitch. How many, how many times have I said bitch after that? Seem distracted. I need a Mountain Dew. I'll be theme. back. Some of it might be unaccounted for. So what? That's life. We did our job. Closing one case opens another. Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? Are you going to tell me? The deals being done right now will change the face of L.A. forever, and we're wasting our time on some hump. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are murdered. Their percentages. The odds for and against lightning striking. What I miss. Six in the back. Thanks. Two two seconds, everyone. Maybe it's 
If I forgot to edit that out, I'm terribly sorry. I'm having the best of uh, anything right now, time-wise. Very complicated things going on. <sighs> hey, it's that Fugowski, fucking guy. you made homicide. That I did. Good to see you, Phelps. You two want a hug? How can we get on with it? Relax, Rusty. I'd uh, say hi to Rusty. 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks... Carruthers likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Here, here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. See, I was right to like this guy. Had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? Be my guest. I could just ask him. Take a closer look at her head and neck. Shut up. I'm looking at the hand first. <clears throat> Very unusual ring. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. I'm farting like a lot right now. The neck is bruised pretty badly. That's all I can do. Okay, so take a close look at her head and neck. I can't move at anything else. I can't move her head down. Fine, whatever. Maybe he said hand and neck. Another day, another dollar. I doubt it. This is murder one. Get out there and find the guys who did it. Guys? Plural? would wear one. I don't know a lot of people. Looks like barbiturates. I don't know what that means. Barbiturates. What else is rattling around in this thing? Wait, I'm not done. You should speak to a doctor. Scrubbing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Keep on walking, Ray. Nah, see?
Yeah, what's that? This is all top end of town stuff. Gives us somewhere to look. I did hit A on it. I still hit A on it. What am I looking at? There's nothing back here. Certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. Sears. Still nothing. Could have been a modeling assignment. Ah. It's place to start. Man, I'm not done looking through everything. Notes on the fridge, dreidels, spoons, everything. This doesn't pertain to the case. Rolling pin. <gasps> Fork. A rolling pin. This one was an easy decision. It doesn't give me anything to go on. Twas the fork all along. This is the second crime scene with a fork hatched. Doesn't tell me anything. I'm on to you, fork. In your fucking ways. Uh, really, the iron? It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. I was going to scrub the bathroom. And there. There she. floating. I really can't talk about this anymore. No one wants to hear it, so shut up. Back to work, Phelps. I don't like the way this broad bought it. I want to get the guys responsible. So what next? You and Mal are good buddies, right? So go talk to him already. I tried. You know I'm right, Phelps. This woman was murdered, and the killers need to be found. Hey, peace out. Did I miss something on the body? I looked at everything I could. I cannot turn her head anymore. I should be able to investigate the body though, right? Let's not get it from this angle. This jack off swords was in the way. No, I can't get up there. Damn you! Give me your answers. Just start shaking the body. Phil, stop! No! Catch all the good ones, Phelps. Yeah, no, I can't do anything. Really? Again? Fuck this room. Out of here like last year. What's he doing up there? Come on. Isn't that the cop that Can you drive to this one? I couldn't look at anything else up there or talk to anyone else, and I tried talking to the guy.
Which building is it? Uh, old bars. Fun times. I swear, if we lock up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. Yeah, it's sad if you think about it. <clears throat> Aha. Yes, sir, your name? Fuck you, asshole. That's my name. LAPD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with the patient. Would you like to wait? No, we wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD here to see you. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. I'll just point who's rude now. You're somebody. Your investigation is much more important. Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, not if it doesn't compromise doctor-patient privilege, Detective. How well did you know Ms. Randall? Fairly at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. No, you look worried. Signs of morphine over just going to corners or just here's supposed to blah blah blah. Go and show two guys. That's a waste like this executive. I'm just gonna go ahead and say doubt then. Or do you look like you're doubting? I have lots of intuition. Let's waste one. And doubt it is. You didn't like her, did you? It wasn't a question of like, detective. She was incredibly beautiful. When you looked in her eyes, you knew how a mouse felt before a snake. Not an ounce of warmth there. That was that was a lie. You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. I don't like this guy. We believe Ms. Randall died of an overdose of morphine. You didn't prescribe her anything else, did you? <laughs> that is a very serious allegation to level at a doctor, young man. I am well aware of what is prescribed under the Harrison Act, Detective. If you wish to make any other ridiculous accusations, I suggest you direct them to my attorney. That's the first time I'm over for anything. We often find the more obstructive people tend to be, Dr. Stoneman, the more they have to hide. Fuck you, I wanna try this again. If you will excuse me, I have patience to attend. Faggot, you did it. <laughs> Anyone here wanna talk? Oh, it's Dr. Hurts man. To walk, hurts to sit down, and now I got police riding me like I'm a criminal. Get lost. Respect. This whole case just blows already. I personally hate it. My personally? I mean more than personally. Oh, oh, how sweet. The old boy lying. Oh, shit. About what? Everything. No. He was relieved when he said she was dead. Shotgun. <laughs> 